Hey, good morning, everybody. Coming to you with my daily blog. And we'll start with uh, the wallpaper. It is um, from India. It's a scene from India. Maharashtra. Um, let's jump into my blog here. Today we are talking about St. Philip Neri. Last of all, we must die. Here's a picture of that scoundrel. Today we read about St. Philip Neri in the book Enchiloid and Terra. He was called the Socrates of Rome because he would wander around the city talking to people, challenging them to think more deeply. He was a street-walking evangelist and reached out every day to the poor, the lame, and even to the prostitutes of Rome with love and wisdom. He challenged everyone to grow closer to God and to deepen their faith. After 60 years of doing this, he, and hearing confessions and doing other things that priests do, he told his fellow priests, and last of all, we must die. And the next morning, he joyfully breathed his last in this life. You can read more about him here. Click on this link. It does take you to a Franciscan media site, so we get to listen to something about him as well. There he is talking to a baby. <laughs> Let me turn the volume down here and see what they have to say. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for May 26th. Today we celebrate Saint Philip Neri. If you think saints only come in one size, pious, serious, a bit on the rigid side, think again. Today's saint was known for his humor as well as his holiness. Born in 1515, Philip Neri lived during a time in church history when the clergy was badly in need of reform. At an early age, he moved from his native Florence to Rome to devote his life to God. His appealing personality won him friends from all levels of society. He rapidly gathered around himself a group of laypersons drawn to his lively spirituality. They met as an informal prayer and discussion group and also served the needy of Rome. At the urging of his confessor, Philip went on to study for the priesthood and became an outstanding confessor. One of the influential figures of the Counter-Reformation, he is credited with converting many influential church people to personal holiness. Some of Philip's followers became priests, living together in community. They called their institute the Congregation of the Oratory. Philip Neri died in 1559 and was canonized in 1622. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintofthedate.org. From Franciscan Media, this has been Saint of the Day. All right, very good. Uh, so much for us to gain from his life. But the thing I'll focus on today is that we all know we'll die one day. It's not a surprise, but how we die is up to us. We can prepare for it now so that when it comes, we are prayed up and ready to see his face. We can tell those in our lives that we love them, and we can forgive those who have wronged us so that we have no regrets when we, along with Philip Neri, breathe our last. God, thanks for the great example in dying well that this man gives us. St. Philip Neri, pray for us. And you guys have a great day.